mister? Are you Rosemary Williams? No. That's her over there. <laughs> so, so I said to him, Judge, you try to throw Rosemary Williams out of town and you're going to make history. You're going to be the first man was ever baptized with red eyes. <laughs> so he tried. And I hit him over the head with a bottle. Over here on his balls. <laughs> <laughs> they was picking glass out of his head for three days. <laughs> 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 If you don't think it's funny, mister, nobody's making you listen. Is your father Sam Williams? I'm busy. If, uh, if you're looking for a girl to drink with... I'm looking for a girl to tell some bad news to. Well, tell it to somebody else. I don't want to hear it. Hey, we're out of liquor. Don't bother. I'll get it. Excuse me. Eddie, how about another bottle? Look, I came all the way from Stockton to tell you that your father's very badly hurt. So now you told me. Feel better? Two bullets in his chest. He may die. I only cry over coffee. Come back in the morning. In the morning, he may be dead. Now, I want you to go back to Stockton with me tonight. What? Oh, mister, you're funny. You really are. Even if I wanted to, you figure I got all that time to waste? Maybe a week? Do you know how much I make in a week? One hundred dollars, guaranteed. Hard money, gold. Weight out on a scale. About time. I'll pay you a hundred dollars in advance. Thanks, I don't take tips. Well, maybe you'll take some advice. He's your father, and you're all the family he's got. If he dies and you're not there, only strangers are going to hear his last words. Miss Williams. Get this straight. No one is more of a stranger to me than my father. Here we are, gentlemen. Mike. You. Me. Drink up. You're going back to Stockton with me? Now, look. If I have to put you on my back, dump you on a train, and ship you out like freight, because I figure that's the cheapest way you can go. You heard what that lady said. Lady? Oh, I'm going to kill myself. Come on. Let go of me! Give favors. I was thinking we talk a little business. Excuse me. Say, it ain't hard to see why you was in a hurry. Hard to believe that you'd come along just for the money. Hundred for my time, hundred for my trouble. Lady's got to think of herself. I always thought a lady would think of her father. Was he the only one that got hit? Well, 
He was the nearest. That's how they got up so close. He must be getting old. He always used to have good eyes. He still has. He sees you in that dress. Well, you know, he does think you're a schoolmark. He's still making me up to suit himself. <laughs> he hasn't even seen me since I was ten. No? Hmm. Right after Ma died. He just couldn't take it, I guess. He fell apart. Anyway, he stayed hard, solid drunk for a year. Till he took off. You mean he just left you? Mm-hmm. Oh, he'll tell you that he left me in good hands. The Kellers, real good hands. Especially Mr. Kellers, always grabbing. And Mrs. Keller. She got an able-bodied slave for room and board. For washing, scrubbing, cooking, weeding. Mr. Keller. <clears throat> the saloon was paradise after that. Well, I didn't know anything about that. What's the difference? I don't even know why I'm telling you anyway. Doesn't mean anything to you. But Sam does. And I was hoping he might mean a little bit more to you. Oh, he means a lot to me, all right. I don't suppose I'll ever be able to repay him for all he's done. But who knows? Maybe. Just maybe. Well, uh... Yeah, should be pulling into Stockton sometime midday tomorrow. You, uh... Gotta try to get some sleep. I'm used to doing without. So, you know, what's the matter with you, anyway? Well, the one thing I'm tired of... Wait, where's that brother of yours supposed to meet us? He'll be here. But in the meantime, would you at least try to look like a lady? Hmm? I said, in the meantime, would you at least try to look like a lady? Oh. Mr. Bartley, I didn't think you were the type to notice a thing like that. Well, you never can tell about men, I guess. Better? Who? Oh. Sorry, I'm late, Nick. But I got delayed over at the sheriff's office. Looks like we got a line on those rustlers. We found some wagon tracks down below the point and some ice. Ice? Yep. Yeah. Well, that's why they didn't try to sell our beef in town. Looks like they've been butchering it right on the spot, icing it down and shipping it out. Any idea where? Yeah, I... Say, Nick, that girl over there, that isn't a school marm from Mesa. Sam got any idea? I'm sure he doesn't. Well, he shouldn't see her looking like that. He won't, I guarantee that. He won't. Would you, uh, like to meet her? By all means. Miss Rosemary Williams, my brother Jared. Miss? Sir? You'll be pleased to know your father's stronger this morning. As a matter of fact, the doctor's beginning to have hope. Yes, well... Nick, the sheriff and I are riding over to Clay Springs. I'd better be on my way. Clay Springs? Yeah, that's over in Minton County. He thinks maybe the rustlers may be shipping our cattle over there. Oh, any particular reason? Only that they've just had a siege of anthrax. <coughs> Force the price of beef sky high. I'll probably be back sometime tomorrow. A pleasure, miss. Nick. Pleasure, huh? A little more of a surprise, I'd say, wouldn't you, Mr. Barkley? Come on, Miss Williams. Oh, 
is real nice, Barkley. Come on. Watch your step. Put her away now. I won't need her. things you see around here are your father's work. Well, let's go and meet the rest of the family. <laughs> <laughs> 